Say hello to the new SwimOutlet.com. Enhanced navigation, larger, higher resolution imagery, more filtering and search capability so you can find what you need faster. As always, low price guarantee and free shipping on $49. The redesigned SwimOutlet.com. Dive in, say hi. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Cummings here at the American Swim Coaches Association's World Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Next to me is Mario Francisco, he's the head coach of the Farmington Valley YMCA swim team in Connecticut. Mario, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So, uh, you're the head coach at Farmington Valley, but I think probably the biggest, biggest accomplishment for you uh, so far in your career is you were the head coach for Cesar Cielo when he was an age grouper in Brazil. Yeah, well, fortunately to have a very good, uh, very good group of kids uh, in Brazil, uh, where Caesar come from, uh, from that group. Uh, was only one of the swimmers that come off that group. Uh, another one was Andres Schutzis, um, that probably everybody knows, uh, swim from Michigan, was a captain there. And, so I was very blessed to have him. So. That's pretty exciting. Did you know when he was seven, eight, nine, ten years old that this guy was going to win an Olympic gold medal? Did you get any kind of feeling that was going to happen? Uh, I don't know if I went this far. Um, I knew it was something special about him. You know, um, um, he used to be a backstroker back in the time. Uh, well, in that age, you don't call him a backstroker, but his <laughs> backstroke was a backstroke. So, uh -huh. uh, and Caesar was a very talented on backstroke. Uh, saw him at about 10 years old win a race for with 25 yards in front of everybody else in a very a very kind of competitive field uh well i couldn't say it was that competitive it was wins with 25 yards uh, 25 meters i'm sorry in front but our, our region that i i coach was very competitive okay so when you do something like that in that region you probably were way in front of everybody else he didn't like swimming as much on that time, so it's kind of hard to, to tell. I thought he's going to be Olympian right now just because the love from the sport wasn't there. I hope I have contributed to get him the love of the sport. So he, he was a backstroker at the time. Did, how did he, was he, did he switch over to freestyle while you were training him, or was he always a backstroker with you? We, we always were work out four strokes. Mm -hmm. um, I perform believe we work out four strokes. He actually come to a clinic in the United States, and one of the coaches, the coach that he come from, uh, I'm trying to remember the name now, but the coach that he did the clinic to, uh, to make some testing, and they said his best stroke was going to be butterfly. So, we, and I told him, I always thought his butterfly is very good, which is very good. He's very good, huh? Yeah. Um, he doesn't swim backstroke now, and he, every time he actually swims backstroke, he actually calls me and says, hey, Mario, I'm swimming backstroke. Watch it out, you know? <laughs> uh, which is very rally. And he says that kind of messes up sort of his, his freestyle. It's not that he doesn't like it. It's just a mess. Uh, he thinks it messes up his uh, freestyle. And, but anyhow, he worked out was for a four stroke. But Guilherme Guido, which is our Brazilian backstroker, was killing the freestyle at the time. Mm -hmm. He was a very good freestyle. And I guess it was a better option for him from the, the, the backstroke. At the time, and it's funny, they, they kind of exchange places, you know. Okay. Uh, now, Guilherme Guido is our uh, main freestyle for, for Brazil, and Caesar becomes the freestyle. So right, that's good. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty cool store. So, you had some other great swimmers on your team there. Talk about them as well. Um, yeah, we have Andre Schutz. Uh, you, you talked about. about if I thought somebody would be Olympian, I can say that Andre Schutz, I thought it was going to be Olympian. But uh -huh. if I had to pick between the two, I thought Andre would be an uh, Olympian. Interesting. Just, uh, Andre had a little bit of killing his stance, but it was, a, it was funny. Behind the block, you never tell who's going to win. He was uh, always like on his own pace, you know. But as soon as he touched that water, he was... Uh, in the Brazilian expression, he was an animal. <laughs> he just <laughs> becomes something, yeah. something else. Uh, he just um, took over and just like raced it so well, you know. And, and if he was pressure, it was even better. So I was telling you yesterday a couple of stories. Like 
first of all, I, in the time I coached uh, Andre, I think he was 11 when I left the team. Uh, I never seen Andre lost one race. We went to a nice, good swim meet uh, and put him perfectly on the backstroke. And back in the time, it was the stroke he was still working on. And again, funny thing, he become a backstroker, 200 backstroker. Is what he missed make Olympian by 0.2, I think, mm -hmm. the, the cut for Olympian uh, for, for Olympic Olympic Games. But anyhow, um, Andrade went race tied for first place. And I, really, my goal in that it was to put him in a challenge position to see if he can lose it, to, to have a little bit of taste of what is not to be first place. And he managed to, uh, to, to tie for first. So. <laughs> he just he's one of those people who just never wants to lose. Andre did not like to lose. That is I, amazing. I, I, you could ask him, uh, but that's the impression I have from, from a, as a perspective as a coach that he didn't like to lose. And it probably made you feel happy that as a, as a coach to see these two move on, not just, especially to move on to college in the United States. Were you active in, in trying to get them to uh, move to the United States for college? Um, yes, uh, I mean, of course, it makes you happy. I think I, I, I did an interview for uh, a radio in Brazil from our town, uh, where I coach uh, Caesar. And to me, it's like the shares on the, the cake, whatever Americans say. I forgot how you say it. Uh, the ice on the cake? Whatever. Yeah, the ice, the ice on the, the cake. The yeah. ice on the cake. Um, it's just, I mean, I've seen many, many swimmers, my swimmers saying how successful they are in life. Yeah because of swimming and, um, and saying that I was a good home model for that and things like this. We talk with Skype, we talk with Facebook people. Swimmers always say how, how important was that experience with swimming. But when Caesar uh, won and when Andres Schutz come to United State and got this level of success, it's just seeing, uh, seeing that I really believe I coached for them to be a better person. Yeah. But seeing that the swimming side too I was able to be successful in that. Right, and and but to see Caesar on that gold medal platform in Beijing, I mean, he was crying. I bet you were crying too. To know that I you was, had a hand in that. And I have my whole team that I, where I used to coach in South Carolina, uh, in a room. Uh -huh. So it's very special. My wife was with me, and she she used to coach age group with me. Uh, it, it was. I, I don't have words to to describe what the feeling was. I'm sure. And they have a whole team hug me. Uh, you know, everybody, uh, I mean, I, I think I have, I kind of turned things around. I think the room was full of Americans uh, rooting for, for Brazil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that yeah, night. yeah. So, so yeah. that was pretty good. Uh, and how did you move from Brazil to the United States for coaching? Um, my, my parents, uh, my dad is an Amer American citizen, he become an American citizen, but is American citizen. I've been living here in the United States for a very long time. Transferred here for work for Bosch. Um, yeah, what, he works for 45 years there. Then I, it's a long story, but I, I come in to volunteer uh, to your first time um, just to have experience. Mm -hmm. And I volunteer at the YMCA that I used to work. Mm -hmm. And 10 years later, talking to the lady and saying that I maybe you want to come to the United States, they offered me a job there. So it's a very cool story because, you know, volunteer job, 10 years later, training into a to a, a full-time job, move to United State, changing my life. That is so. great. What are, what are the differences that you see bes between age group swimming in Brazil and age group swimming in the United States? Age group swimming in the United States is much easier to not to specialize kids. Uh, they allow to swim a lot more events. Unfortunately, in Brazil, majority of tournaments, it can be a, I mean, I've been a state meet where you can only sign the kid to three, three events. Okay. Over three days. I mean, how you don't specialize right, a child. Right. You have to pick early. your events pretty you have quick. To pick it too quick. Yeah. yeah okay. So I think that's the major, major difference in the positive for the United States. Uh, the positive for Brazil, I think, is the, the education of the coaches. I, I like to say, I like to know the majority of coaches go to college in the specific area. Um, um, from I think in the last 20 years, everybody is uh, from government law. We have to have a degree in, in PE and specialize ourselves. Uh, I think that helps a little bit of sport. Yeah. Uh, that uh, not taken anywhere away. We're just learning here for a lot of people that didn't did uh, not 
went to school school in that area. Right. And so, but I think it kind of like channel you or your professional to be to ch make a choice to be a coach, some coach right early in your in your life. Right, and that's what you find in the United States is a lot of coaches. Um, they don't learn how to be a coach. They're learning on the job. So you're saying in Brazil, you go to school to learn how to be a coach. Yes, yes. Okay. And P is just a, a common degree that majority, majority of the, all the coaches have to start with. Yeah. You know? uh, so it's kind of nice to have the academic background mm -hmm. um, to help you out start in the sport. Mm -hmm. Now, that probably doesn't make you a better coach. Uh, at the end, the, uh, the the entail, but I think it makes you a little better coach when you first started because you're not battling some some things that you were already learning in school. Then you of course start picking and choose what yeah. kind of flaws if you want to have right. things like this. So talking about learning, what have you been learning so far here at the ASCA Clinic? Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's. I have to pick something. Um, it's always well, a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I think it's more like the collaboration side of, you know, how much is collaboration is important. I think the, Oscar, uh, the beautiful thing about Asuka is uh, coming here is the network you make it. Uh, you, you broad your, uh, there's a much broader network when you come. You meet so many good people, uh, not only the top level coaches, but also I think you met even uh, young coaches last night uh, with, uh, I think it's Kirk, right, from Auburn. Mm -hmm. uh, so volunteer coach there, kind of young, yeah, uh, still. And he just blew out of the park, you know, he's just so good and learned so much on his talk. That is great, that is great to know. Um, Farmington Valley YMCA, you've only been there a few months, is that correct? Yeah, seven months. Okay, so, um, you know, you got any kids there that you see maybe have that inkling that you saw in Andre and, and Caesar? Yeah, I have a... Um, a couple of girls that are very um, talented, but especially very driven. Mm -hmm. you know, um, whatever I ask them to do it, they, they do it. And, uh, listen very well in the meets and race well. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to, to be a good racer if you want to be successful in that sport. Um, I, I think a couple of girls that are very, very, very strong. Uh, we have some very young kids that uh, we just have uh, a kid going second best time, 9-10. I, like I don't like to brag in, in 9-10s because you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a little early. early. To, it's early to, to say, but it's a pretty good accomplishment to be a second in the nation uh, yeah. for last season. Yeah. I think he was 33, 8 something. And what about? 50 breasts. Very good. Uh, so that is pretty amazing. And then I have a couple of boys, older boys too, at least two or three boys that are um, very, very talented. I keep telling them I think we have potential to go to Y Nationals next year. We didn't have anybody this year. And I told them I have about four or five kids that can do it. And they keep asking me who it is. I said, you, you are the one to define who it's going to be. You know, maybe you, I said, surprising me, we're going to have more than four. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't set this as a goal yet, but I could say it's start to kind of like, we'll see how the season goes. It might be mm -hmm. one of the goals in the book. <laughs> so you're, you didn't tell them you are going to Y Nationals. You're, yeah. you're leaving it up to them to work hard to be work part of hard. that. I have a good group. Uh, I think it's a talent group. Very young. Yeah. So we might not have this, uh, this season. We might have the next season. I don't know if it's going to be this season. They are some of them are a little too far away, but they've been surprising me all the time. So, And I actually want to, if you don't mind, I want to thank uh, Dave and March. I, I just did an internship with them, uh, with Dan with uh, Swim Mac, and they have changed my perspective of coaching. It uh, we've been good friends. Where I think, Dave, I think I can say I tell you, my good friend. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, he have given me so many opportunities to learn and to uh, even an opportunity to, uh, for a job, and he's been a life changing for me. And I like just just recognize that how how great a mentor and great per person he's having me into me. I yeah. just want to recognize that. Because I just remember that because I think the big success we have has a lot to do with the things I learned there and how he inspired me. Yeah, everybody can out there has probably had some collaboration with Dave Marks to some degree, and I'm sure they're Absolutely. learning just he's, as much as you such are. He's such a great power person, uh, one of the best coaches in the nation, but also his personality and the way he makes you feel good about yourself. It, it, very special. All right. Well, Mario, right. thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate hearing from all all your experiences. Thank you. I just want to say hello to my family that's in Brazil and my son that's in Michigan University. Uh, all so right. I want to say hello. You got everybody all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So for everyone here at the Ask a World Clinic, I'm Jeff Cummings. 
Thanks for watching today's special edition of the Morning Swim Show. Thank you.